Good morning, this is Matt Sherwood with the Tech and Stuff channel. I'm a technology teacher for middle school students and I am going to be showing you how to use SketchUp. We're going to be focusing on the Getting Started Toolbar tools, which is a great place to start if you're a beginner. I'm going to go through these one at a time, help you make a project, uh, more of just a practice of all the tools. And uh, by the end of it, you should be fully capable to go out and design some of your own ideas and turn them into reality. Now, if you are not familiar with moving around in SketchUp, you might want to go watch my first tutorial on moving around. Um, it's tutorial one, and it'll simply take you through the way to navigate. But basically, these four tools will allow you to navigate in SketchUp. Uh, there are simpler ways for that. Go watch the tutorial. Now, let's start out by getting rectangles laid out. What I'm going to do is make, uh, I think, five rectangles, and we're going to use these as our part of our basis for drawing. Now, when I get that diagonal line across, it means that it's a perfectly square shape, and I'm going to go for basically 12 foot. So I'm going to type in 144, comma, 144. 144 being, of course, 12 feet square, and if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see the exact dimensions. Type them in and then press Enter it'll modify it. So I'm going to make four more squares. I do want to evenly space them, so I'm going to pick the tape measure tool this time. And from the center point here, you can see the blue dot tells me I'm in the center of that line. I want to click and move out 36 inches. Uh, I'm just going to click relatively close, and then I'm going to type in 36, which defaults to inches. Um, unless I put in three feet specifically, it's going to stay as inches. Now this time, I'm going to take the rectangle tool. I'm going to hover on this end point of this first square for a second because it's, it's kind of giving the program an indication of the, that's the edges I want to use. So I'm going to bring it out. This time, instead of typing 144 comma 144, I'm going to put 12 apostrophe, which stands for feet, comma, 12 apostrophe. There we go. So 12 apostrophe, comma, 12 apostrophe will make a 12-foot square, and then I press Enter. Okay, I'm going to be doing three more of these, but first I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to click on each shape, and I'm going to make them into what's called a group or, um, or a component for this one. So I'm going to make it a component, and a component is basically a fixed shape which I can duplicate and then it'll allow me to not have to duplicate over and over. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm just going to call it square one. I'm going to create that. Click on the second one. Click on the make component. And I am a teacher, so there's the bell ring. And unfortunately, that's my break period. Square two. And that has two. Now what I can do with each of these is I'm going to use these very intentionally. So there's my first component. And there's my second. First one, I'm going to copy it. So I'm going to go to Edit, Copy. Notice I could use keyboard shortcuts, Control-C. Okay, so let's measure this next rectangle's position. So I'm going to bring it out to three feet, and notice it kind of snaps into location. I didn't have to type it in this time. That's because I've used it previously, and it kind of reserves that spot as a frequent measurement. Okay, this time, instead of actually creating a rectangle, I'm just going to paste the rectangle I copied a second ago. So I'm going to click, click over here, and edit, paste. Use the inferences again, and there's my rectangle there. Now this this time I'm going to copy the second one. So I'm going to do Control C, Control V, and I'm looking to space it out that three feet. So I'm going to use the tape measure, and there's three feet there, which it actually is very close. So let me use the Move tool to move it exactly on point there. OK. 
Okay. And I intend to do one more. Now this time I'm going to do a little trick with the Move tool. And this is something you're going to want to become familiar with. So I'm going to click on the Move tool. And then I'm going to hold the Control button on the keyboard down. See the plus sign? Okay, I'm going to click. And it'll make an automatic copy of this. And let's see if I can get it to space out to three feet. Well, nope, I'm going to need to take the tape measure again. Space out three feet, and there's the exact three foot point. Take the move tool back in. Now, one trick with SketchUp is that the closer you zoom in, the more accurate you can be. So I always like to work in close. There's my five squares equally spaced apart. Now I'm going to make a large rectangle that is equal to the distance of all these squares put together. So for that, I'm going to use my tape measure to start. I'm going to measure, let's go six feet from these other shapes. And I'm going to type in six apostrophe, enter, and that'll space that out the way I want it. Another way to use the tape measure is that if you come out from a corner, it'll just make a line stretching it out as if you're drawing it with a pencil or something. And so I'm going to stretch this out. And you'll notice it just follows follows the exact distance I'm going. Now those are my boundaries for my new rectangle. I just have to stretch it from the corner to the corner. And I'm looking to make it right about there. Now this time, uh, sometimes I'm really careful about measurements. This time I just I had a, a specific width I wanted, but as far as, uh, or length I wanted, but the width I didn't really care about, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now what I do want to do is show you a different technique rather than using these guides. So I'm going to go to clear the guides and delete them. And with the pencil tool, now the pencil tool is an important tool. A lot of times it helps you not have to bother with making measurements because it gives you a lot of inferences. So here you can see this is a midpoint of this line. I'm going to stretch it to the midpoint of this line. And what I'm going to do is just simply divide this shape up repeatedly. So midpoint to midpoint. And I just have to find the midpoint. There we go, midpoint to midpoint. It kind of snaps into position anyway. It doesn't make you look that hard. So I'm dividing this shape up repeatedly, and I know that it's going to make perfectly symmetrical squares. So I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Of course, it's going to make an even number because I keep dividing it in half repeatedly. And okay, let's go with this now. So when I want to make um, symmetrical squares, a lot of times I'll just make a big rectangle and delete out the, the spaces that I don't intend to use. And it makes it an easy way. So I'm just dragging the eraser over those spaces. You can see what it does. So symmetrical on these ones and these ones. These ones are not quite evenly spaced because of the way I divided it. But I, I wanted five, so that's, that's why I did it that way.